Well guys, in today's video I got yet another super cool fishing product that I need to share with you. Today we got a Kenfish Fishing Cam X lure fishing underwater camera uh, that we need to show you. Capture the thrill, that says it all. It's an underwater camera that you can attach to your fishing line, to your fishing rigs or when you troll lures from a boat and it will film the fish as they take your bait or your lures. It looks really cool. So let's have a dive into it. And of course it's a little bit raining again, but this won't deter us to show you the contents of this box. It shows us how we connect the camera to our fishing line and then the lure to the camera so that we can then film our catch. So the packaging guys looks really nice and solid. Very professional packaging, so that's always a good sign. So since this is a waterproof camera, no problem unpacking that here in the rain. Here we got the camera itself, guys. It looks like a little underwater torpedo, right? We got an on and off switch here. And we got the attachment points for our fishing line. This end where the camera is, that's where we'll attach our fishing line with our lure at the end. So the camera will swim straight through the water like a little torpedo. And that way we can film what's happening at the other end here at our lure end. We can see fish coming up, trying to bite our lures or maybe even taking our lure. And of course this end goes to our main line. We got those little stabilization fins on each side so that the camera swims straight through the water. By the way, the company that makes this camera, the Canfish, also makes underwater drones. So it's quite a well-known company for underwater photography and underwater exploration. We got two more packages in the box. Let's have a look. So we got our wireless charger that just plugs into USB. So the camera is completely sealed so that there's no water coming in. And in the other box, we have a, oops, I already broke it. I already broke it again. Okay, it's just the box, so no worries. In this box, we got a float. You can stick your camera into the float like this. I think it's a game changer, for example, when you're squid fishing, or let's say you want to target some pipe or garfish under a float, then you would attach your main line to the top of the camera and you have your rig underneath the float hanging down here and the camera is pointing straight down to film your hooks and potential fish and bites, right? And because the top end of the camera is sticking out of the water, you have a direct Wi-Fi connection to your phone while you're doing this. So you can actually sit at the pier or wherever you fish float with a float and uh, look at your phone and see what's, what's biting and what's going on underneath your camera. All right, everybody, we're out at the water and I got the Kenfish camera here with me and we got a nice little fishing wharf. Check it out. All right, so here's what we got so far. We got the camera and then we got a dropper hook and the sinker on the bottom. So the camera is pointing straight down towards the bait. I think I just have to turn it on and it will start recording automatically. Ah, switch that on and off we go. Okay, so here we're doing our first drop and you can see how the bait is slowly descending down to the bottom and uh, soon we'll be hitting the bottom right there. And you can see there are already a few customers around. And then I started lifting that up a little bit. So we can see a first little fish coming and now the other ones following. They found the bait. They followed up from the bottom basically and now they're sort of all over the bait. Those are spotties. There are lots of them around the wharf and we're using pretty big hooks. Yeah, one still got hooked. Normally they don't get hooked on those big hooks but he managed to hook himself there. Tiny spot you want to be cooked. Oh. This time I put the camera 
just above the sink are facing upwards. And then I got my two hooks up there. I can cast it out a little bit further that way, hopefully, and we'll see if that angle gets right and the camera is onto the hook. I think that was pretty cool footage of the cast. What do you guys think? You can see how it just hit the bottom and now we got a pretty good angle of our hooks and bait. Okay, so the last test for today, I wanna to test what the camera will film when we, when we put a lure behind it. After all, it's a lure fishing camera, right? And I tied this wax wing lure behind it so I'm gonna cast it out. I think that would be really cool like if you fish with uh, stick baits and things like that to see how they behave in the water. And I don't think we catch anything today because it's winter and there are no fish around here at the moment, but let's give it a cast and see what the camera will see. So one small issue I ran into here is that I had to reel in the lure really slow, otherwise the camera would come up to the top. So I might need an additional weight next time. And here I've just been dropping a grumpy fish down uh, from the wharf uh, to see what that looks like. It actually looks really cool in the water and uh, the spotties are all quite interested in that one. Now I'm just gonna roll a uh, Another bit of footage for you guys from a second drop. There were just so many fish. If you're interested in this camera, we've been giving a promo code. So if you want to save a bit of money, order via the link down in the description. A couple more features I wanted to mention that you might be interested in about this camera. The first thing you might want to know is the battery life. And this camera can run for 138 minutes, a little bit over two hours on one charge. And of course, it's a completely sealed unit. That's why it's waterproof down to a 200 meter depth. If you want to use it again after the two and a half hours, you'll have to put it on the charger. Luckily, it's quite easy because it is USB rechargeable. With the wireless charger, you can plug that into a power bank and charge it back up. Now, secondly, the camera has a wide angle, 136 degree angle. It is a Sony lens and it has a full HD resolution. A very cool feature, in my opinion, is the green LED light that allows to shoot in very dark conditions. And of course, green will also attract other fish. So it's a fish attractant and it also doubles up as a light. Also, I think that is a really cool feature for squid fishing. If you use it as a float, you have a green light that will attract the squid or other fish as well. Big thanks to Chasing Innovation for sponsoring our channel and giving us a free camera. I'm sure we will put it to good use in our future episodes. Holy cow, what's that there? That surely ain't no fish. I gotta record that, no one's gonna believe me what I'm seeing here.